Known for her breakthrough role as Edie Hart in the iconic TV series Peter Gunn, Lola Albright's career was a journey marked by critical acclaim, selective role choices, and a commitment to her craft that set her apart from many of her contemporaries. But despite her undeniable talent, she remains an overlooked gem in Hollywood history. Join Facts First as we delve into the life, career, and legacy of Lola Albright. Early Life Lola Albright was born the 20th of July, 1924, in Akron, Ohio. Her early life was deeply influenced by her parents, who were both evangelistic singers. Growing up in a household filled with music, it was almost inevitable that she would develop a passion for the performing arts. But her journey to Hollywood wasn't straightforward. Lola inherited her singing talent from her parents. Their evangelical background meant that music was not just entertainment. It was a form of expression and a way to connect with a higher power. This spiritual connection to music later manifested in her roles, especially as Edie Hart, where she played a jazz singer. She moved to Hollywood with dreams of making it big. Her initial roles were not glamorous. She started as an MGM singing extra in films like The Pirate, Easter Parade, and The Unfinished Dance. She was often cast in parts that didn't fully utilize her talents. But despite these setbacks, she persevered. The Breakthrough, Peter Gunn in 1958, Lola Albright's career took a significant turn when she landed the role of Edie Hart in the television series Peter Gunn. Created by Blake Edwards with music by Henry Mancini, the show was a crime drama that followed the adventures of a private investigator. But it was Lola's character, Edie Hart, who added a layer of complexity to the series, as well as allure. Edie was the girlfriend of Peter Gunn and a jazz singer at Mother's, a smoky riverside jazz club. This role was a perfect fit for Lola, not just because of her acting skills, but also because she was a jazz singer in real life. Lola was 100% believable as a jazz singer, and Henry Mancini stated her portrayal of Edie Hart was so authentic because she had an off-the-cuff kind of jazz delivery that was hard to find. He said she was perfect casting for the role. The authenticity, of course, wasn't just a happy accident. It was the result of years of musical influence from her family and her own personal experiences as a singer. The role catapulted Lola into the limelight. The series itself was a hit, and her performance received special attention. She was so convincing in the role, she earned an Emmy nomination. Moreover, her popularity as Edie Hart led to the production of two record albums, Lola Wants You and Dreamsville, both of which are considered rare finds today. Although Lola didn't win the Emmy, the nomination itself was a testament to her skill and the depth she brought to the character. Career Milestones After her breakthrough role in Peter Gunn, Lola had the opportunity to expand her career into film. She appeared on the big screen alongside some of the most iconic figures in Hollywood, including Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. These roles were not just mere appearances, they were significant parts that showcased her versatility as an actress. Lola's film career included roles where she played love interests to icons like Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra. While these roles were glamorous, they also required a depth of character that Lola was more than capable of delivering. Her ability to hold her own alongside such legendary figures further solidified her reputation as a versatile and talented actress. She had a prolific career in television, appearing in a variety of shows that spanned different genres, from comedy to drama to westerns, Lola showed she could do it all. Throughout the 60s and 70s, Lola was featured in hit TV shows like My Three Sons, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Columbo, The Beverly Hillbillies, and The Dick Van Dyke Show. In each of these, she brought a unique vibe that made her characters memorable. She was particularly effective in westerns, especially in Bonanza episodes like The Search and A Bride for Buford, where she played complex characters with shady pasts or complicated relationships. Awards and Recognition One of the most significant milestones in Lola's career came in 1966 when she won the Best Actress Award, also known as the Silver Bear, at the Berlin Film Festival for her role in Lord Love a Duck. This achievement wasn't without controversy. The jury was divided on whether to award the Silver Bear to all three female leads of the movie, Lola Albright, Tuesday Weld, and Ruth Gordon, or just to Lola. Some members felt that giving a joint award would diminish the significance. Ultimately, Lola was the one who received the honor. The Silver Bear Award was significant recognition for Lola Albright, especially given those contentious circumstances. 
The film Lord Love a Duck was a satirical black comedy that allowed Lola to showcase a different facet of her acting skills. Winning the award highlighted her standout performance and solidified her reputation as an actress. While Lola might not have won that Emmy for her role in Peter Gunn, the nomination was certainly important, and it was one of many honors she received throughout her career. The Later Years and Legacy As the 1980s approached, Lola Albright's star began to fade. Despite her undeniable talent and a career filled with significant roles, she found herself gradually stepping away from the limelight. Her final appearance was in a 1984 episode of Airwolf, after which she retired from acting. By the end of the 80s, she had largely withdrawn from the public, marking the end of an era for an actress who had once been one of Hollywood's most sought-after talents. After her retirement, Lola Albright lived a life away from the public eye. She passed away in 2017 without making a return to the screen. Her departure was not just the end of her life, but also the conclusion of a career that had spanned over four decades. Despite the ups and downs, Lola Albright left behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated. Her career was a paradox. On one hand, she received critical acclaim and awards. On the other, she remained an overlooked talent in Hollywood history. She never achieved the long-lasting fame that some of her contemporaries enjoyed. But those who knew her work understood the depth of her talent. The roles she didn't take Throughout her career, Lola faced external pressures to conform to certain types of roles, particularly those that were more demure. Friends, fans, and perhaps even industry insiders often advised her to take on roles that were less complex, less challenging, and more in line with the traditional image of what a female star should be. These roles, they argued, would make her more famous and universally loved. Lola found herself at a crossroads that many artists face, the tension between commercial success and artistic integrity. The roles that people advised her to take were not necessarily the ones she wanted to play. Despite the pressures, she stayed true to her artistic vision. She stated once in an interview that some people would come up to her and say she shouldn't play certain kinds of roles because they weren't really her. She said she would count to ten, bite her tongue, and then respond that she was an actress. She didn't want to play herself. Her decision not to heed this advice aimed at changing her career trajectory speaks volumes about her integrity. It may have cost her in terms of mainstream fame, but it also solidified her reputation as an artist committed to her craft. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Lola Albright? Let us know in the comments section below.